I always knew that this Mr. Ibu and his wife's reconciliation are just for the gram, for the social media, and to do damage control. Cause what Ibu just said, and from the interview he granted with Punch newspapers, shows otherwise. <laughs> so, just recently, after the buzzbuzz that happened between Mr. Ibu, Jasmine, and his wife, including that of this lover that came out and made a shocking revelation about Ibu with the informations Mr. Ibu's wife gave to the faceless blogger. So, this is the Punch newspaper with the caption, Why I no longer eat food cooked by my wife. What is the state of your marriage? According to Ibu, he said, This is my final marriage. If this one falls apart, I won't marry again. This is my fifth and the worst marriage because my wife adopted what is not obtainable. This feels like punishment, not marriage. I doubt if I'm still in the marriage because it seems she has already prepared her mind to leave and I'm not going to stop her. I support her leaving. Each time I see her, I begin to breathe erratically and it is not good for me because I am not ready to die. There are opportunities God exposed me to that are of interest to me. Were you married when you adopted your daughter Jasmine? Ibu replied, After my fourth marriage, I adopted Jasmine. She was still a girl of about 12 to 13 years old when I adopted her. Um, why did you adopt her? Ibu replied, It was because nobody cared for her. She was abandoned. I usually go to places and listen to people. She came to me and told me she was interested in acting. She does not know her biological father was, and her mother didn't used to discuss anything about him with her. She told me she used to watch my movie, uh, my movies, and she loved me so much and would like to be in my care. I asked her what level of education she had. She told me to help her complete her education, which I did. She bears my name, but it wasn't until later that the adoption was legalized. Her mother consented to me adopting her. It was said that it was after you recovered from the poison that you started having issues with your wife. Is that true? Um, Ibu replied, right from time, she had never allowed me to rest. When I was hospitalized and she came to the hospital, it was like WAR. She kept complaining that I did not care for her and the children. I made arrangements to give her some money, but she said it was not enough that I had that I should ask something to read. I did, and after she left, she did not come to see me again throughout my stay in the hospital. Wow, 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 wow. When you were to marry your wife, you said you introduced her to Jasmine. What was her initial reaction, reaction seeing your adopted daughter and miss your other children at that time? Then Ibu replied, Everything about me and Jasmine was known to everyone and my wife kept on asking when she would meet her. I introduced her to Jasmine and they became very good friends. Jasmine started sponsoring the family, buying foodstuffs and giving my wife money. Sometimes my wife would leave the house to go and stay with Jasmine. Everything was going fine. What then made her change and caused her to question your relationship with Jasmine? Ibo replied, there was one lady from my town that was close to the family. This lady wanted more than what God had given her. And when she was not getting it, she started causing trouble in my home by poisoning my wife's mind. When we were at the police station recently, the divisional police officer asked her if I was guilty of all she said. I did. She said no, that I should know that nobody would like to put a case in the public domain and lose. She said that she was only trying to win the case. So... My wife's younger brother, her friends, and the lady from my town knelt down and were begging me in the presence of the DPO. Before then, my wife's younger brother were, sorry, was ready to fight me in my own house. This was the same boy that said he wanted to play football outside Nigeria, and I single-handedly took him to different clubs where he was tried but was not selected in any of the trials. I actually lost money in that process. But it was after the incident with the police that your wife went on social media to post all those negative remarks about you and Jasmine. And Ibu replied, 
It was that same lady from my town that did all that. We called her and she apologized. When she had an issue with her business, I took her out of Abuja to Enugu and gave her a house and money. I told her that whatever business she was interested in, she should let me know and I will support her. But after 11 months in Enugu, she said she wanted to return to Abuja. All she has been doing is to create a chorus here and there. Um, did you warn your wife about her when you saw that they were getting close? Ibo replied, I just told her to be careful because I could not stop both of them from going out. But my wife said nothing would happen, but we can now see the, co the outcome. Some people are of the opinion that your wife is acting up because you don't treat her as a wife while you gave those privileges to Jasmine. What's your reaction to that? And Ibu replied, that is not true. When I married her, she did not have a car and her family could not buy her a car. I brought, I brought her three cars at once. I told her to use one for church, one for domestic errands and the third one going out with her friends. However, the day I gave her those cars was when my problem started. I allowed her to do her things her own way, but she started moving with different women and sometimes I hear them ask her why she is still in the marriage. You have been poisoned on different occasions. Um, how have those incidents affected your relationship with people? Ibo replied, I have landed properties and about 10 cars. I see the women in my life is moving with as being greedy. They have eyes on my properties. They feel like if anything happens to me, my wife would be the one to get everything. I was poisoned, but I don't know where it came from. I survived the first attempt. Then the second one came. I investigated the second attempt and discovered that someone from my town was actually contracted to poisoned me. I suspected my wife and I confronted her but she denied it. I followed up until I got the man that brought the poison to the compound and gave it to somebody to use it on me. I went to the man and told him that I got his message. I asked him if I had done anything bad to him but he acted oblivious of the, of the incident. I went through a lot because of that poison. I could not breathe well and I cried every day. I later vomited things and went to the hospital where I was given a supplement that restored me back. I went back to living my life but I was poisoned again. My cousin came out to say that I was showing him that I was rich. He went ahead to threaten me. I had to go and hire a GUN with the intention of going to the village to buy him. But when I got home, he was not there. I sat in my car because I did not want it to look like someone directed me. I was waiting for him when my late father appeared to me and told me that if I did what I intended to do, my world would be in shambles and I would regret it. I then drove off. While on my way, I saw my cousin and he was calling out to stop me, but I did not. If not that my late father appeared to warn me, I would have buyed him. But how is the relationship between you and your wife now? Ibu replied, since the recent incident, she has been so loving, but I know it's all a pretense just to get my attention. I still show her love, providing money for domestic needs and making sure the family is fine. But I am very skeptical. I cannot eat her food anymore. For now, I only eat from Jasmine's kitchen. She cooks a lot and I like eating. You seem to be closer to Jasmine than your other children. Why is that so? Ibu replied, that is because Jasmine is so mature. She is also in the media. I have 12 sons and 4 daughters. My first son is married with 4 children. Some of my children are graduates while some are still in school. Wow. When did you realize you had dementia? And how did it affect you and your family? Ibo replied, Sometimes my mind would just trip off. I could be sitting and just forget that I was holding something. I could even be counting money and throw it in the dustbin. It is after I must have thrown it away that I would remember it was money. I would then have to retrieve it from the trash. Sense is very costly. Once I remember anything about my wife, my mood would change instantly. 
um, since your recovery from the poison incident, you hinted that you would be returning to sect. What are your plans in that regard? And Ibu replied, Most of the scripts I was getting before now were not worth it. So while I stayed back due to my illness, I took time to go through some of the new scripts they sent to me. I realized that some of the writers we are not reasoning well. I then consulted some professional writers to advise some of their members on the issue of debating a particular topic before going ahead to write about it. They listened to my advice and some of them are now rewriting their already written scripts. I will soon be back on the screen. As an actor known for only comical roles, have you ever wanted to add different characters? Um, Ibu replied, I am ready for any role, but marketers demand my service services specifically for comic roles the movie i i am presently working on has to do with gunx and i told filmmakers that it does not make sense if i carry a gun i could buy my boss and say it was a mistake laughs but they said i must do it i have started rehearsing it and it's going well aside from acting what other areas do you have interest in and Ibu replied, acting exposes me to the world and I travel a lot. When coming back to Nigeria, I buy things that I can sell here. By the time I sell those things, I would then make profit. I buy everything my wife wears from outside Nigeria. She's usually excited whenever I come back from such trips because she knows that I won't disappoint. Wow. Your last born looks so much like you. Have you seen any signs that any of your children will follow in your footsteps career-wise? And Ibu replied, I don't know what that boy saw. He did not see any other person to resemble but me. However, he should leave my footsteps and follow another person's own. If he wants to act, he can go ahead, but not for him to follow in my steps. He is a fine boy. Hmm. There must be something that wanted him to say that. How do you unwind? And Ibu replied, if I'm not working, I will be at home. I neither drink nor smoke. I don't go out often too. I'm usually in my house playing with my wife and children. Wow, guys, you guys have heard it from the horse's mouth. Ah, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. But I know that uh, some people, uh, or let me say, let's say generally, you see what Ibu's wife did. Some people don't have that mind of forgiving easily like that. Some people are like, once you bring my family matter out on social media, that is, it is, in fact, OT law, you are going. Some people are like that. Even if they reconcile, but that reconciliation will still get K leg. Only few people that has that fear of God in them that were like, okay, oh, okay, oh, let me just forget and forgive and forget. Life goes on. It is well. Anyways, guys, with that being said, that brings me to the end of this video. In case you're watching for the first time, this is Ladi Human on Court. Please do me that favor by subscribing to my YouTube channel and turn on your notification bell to always get notified anytime I drop new video or videos. On this channel, we react, we analyze, we give trending gist, celebrity news, true crime, and true crime stories. If you're watching for the first time, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And to my tiny subscribers, of course, you all know that this video can never be complete without me appreciating you guys. Thank you for always watching, liking, commenting, and sharing. Whichever way you have contributed to this channel's growth, I do not take that for granted. Thank you all. Bye bye for now as I'm signing out for my next one. Peace out. Love you all. Kemesiano.